This is kind of a long and complicated looking equation, and we really won't be sure how difficult it is until we add all the atoms up. We have our Fe2O3 plus CO plus H2. So let's add the atoms up and see what we have. We have two irons, we have three oxygens plus the one oxygen. So we have four oxygens, we have one carbon, two hydrogens. On the product side, we have one iron, oxygens we have two plus the one, so we have three of those, one carbon, two hydrogens. Let's leave the iron till later because that's really easy to balance. There's only one iron, so we can just put whatever coefficient we need in front of that. So it's left with the oxygens. Why don't we change the coefficient on the water here to two? And let's update our numbers here. We have our two oxygens here, plus now we have one times two. That gives us two. So four oxygens, those are balanced. The two applies to everything, so we have the two times the two, so that gives us four hydrogens. Okay, well, looks like we're going to need to put a two in front of the H2, then two times two. That gives us four, so those are balanced. This is actually coming along nicely. And then iron, we said we'd leave that to last because we need two. We have one. We'll put a two. One times two equals two. And this equation is balanced. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. One place people do have problems, they'll count these oxygens and forget this one, or they'll count the two with the CO2 and then forget the oxygen here. So make sure you count everything up correctly. Not too bad to balance. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.